Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to go to a store called Aldi. And Aldi, A-L-D-I, is a grocery store that is located in my area. It's actually located across the world. Not in every country, but it actually originated in Germany. I think it originally stood for Albrecht Discount. Anyway, so I had gone to this store years back. People in my area had told me that you could get some really, really great grocery deals there. So when I had gone years back, I had picked up uh, a couple of produce items. I think they were strawberries and tomatoes. I brought them home and a couple days later, they were already molded. So that totally turned me off to the Aldi experience back then. Lately though, I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna give it another shot, see how it goes. And so today I picked up some foods that are our staples. I had just gone grocery shopping a few days ago, so I didn't pick up everything that I would normally pick up in a typical grocery shopping trip. So probably the most important thing to know about Aldi before you even enter the store is that they do not accept credit cards. Now I'm the type of person, I do not like to carry around a lot of cash, but they do accept debit cards. Also too, they do not give complimentary grocery bags. So you either have to purchase bags when you're there or you know you just bring your reusable bags that you might use on at other grocery stores. So it does cost a little bit of money to even have a grocery shopping cart. I know that seems ridiculous, but you get the money back. Basically, it costs a quarter to take the cart out from the rack and then when you put the cart back at the end of your shopping trip you get that quarter back so it really doesn't cost anything basically it's a way for the grocery store to save money and therefore be able to reduce prices on their items they sell to you so that's the thing about this store it's not a flashy store they save money by not doing a ton of advertising they don't even have real shelves you know all their stuff is really for the most part on pallets and then they just put cardboard boxes out there and then you just pick the food from the boxes. Not all the produce is refrigerated, so that can be a bit of a minus if you're not very careful. And it's a limited number of items. You know, there's not a ton, a ton, a ton of variety that you might see at Kroger or Safeway, wherever. So by having those kinds of things, they require less staff. They don't need staff to go out and get the shopping carts from the parking lot because people are returning those carts. They don't need to spend money on grocery bags because you're bringing your own. And also too, they don't have behind the counter services as far as I could tell. You know, they don't have a floral shop. They don't have a bakery. There's no deli. There's no um, butcher, you know, that sort of thing. They have worked specifically with companies to get the best deal. It's not that their food is expired because it's not. They have gotten bad press in the past about their meat. But to be honest with you, I don't really eat a ton of meat. We usually do the locally raised, grass-fed, organic sort of thing if we were to buy meat anyway. So when you go to check out, they have several lanes like you would see in any grocery store, although there are fewer of them. There, I think there was maybe four or five. And you know, you put your stuff on the belt, but what they do instead of putting the stuff into bags is they will put stuff into another cart as they check it out. What's neat also about some of their products is that they have um, marked the packaging in such a way that it's very easy for the cashier to scan the item. So if you look at some of the packaging, you'll notice that barcodes are in several locations. So here's one and here's one at the bottom and then here's one at the front. I mean, it's almost a little sneaky, but I think that is really smart. It might not seem a lot, but over time when you're waiting in line and the cashiers are kind of, you know, flipping products over, it takes time, you know, that adds up. So by doing that kind of packaging, it speeds up the process and Therefore, you get out of there quicker, and therefore, they don't have to have as many lanes open. So they take stuff off the belt, scan it, and then they put it into another cart, and then once you're done pinging, you take that cart over to a counter space where you're able to take 
your bags or any bags that you might have bought from them to bag your own groceries. They also do not accept manufacturer coupons and they do not price match. Also too, when you check out, they do have the ads for the following week's sales. And you know, you just grab this and can take it with you and kind of plan your shopping trip. I don't know if they have this in the regular kind of Sunday paper, but I do know that in the junk mail that we get, the junk mail kinds of stuff that doesn't even have your name on it because they just send it to the address, I know that specifically will carry these ads. Plus these ads are also available online. When I went, it was at about nine, nine or 10 o'clock in the morning and there weren't a lot of staff there. There were some people that were bringing stuff out on pallets to be put on the floor and there was one cashier. I did get out of there super fast. It was fairly busy for a weekday morning, but it was a good experience, I would say. Um, they were very friendly. You know, the staff actually talks to you, which is not always the case at grocery stores. Now, just as a baseline, I typically go to Kroger. Kroger is my go-to place. You know, back in the day when I was doing a ton of couponing, I would get a lot of stuff there for free. I love Kroger especially because they have a rewards program and they oftentimes will reward you if you are a frequent shopper that you get, you know, free frozen vegetables or, you know, huge huge discounts on their specific products. Um, they also have Friday freebies where a lot of times they'll have stuff like a container of yogurt is free or some single serve beverages would be free. So in comparison to Aldi, Aldi does not have any of those kinds of rewards programs. So what I'm going to do is I went grocery shopping today. I bought some stuff that I would typically buy, some stuff that I found fairly interesting and some items that I think might be more specific to Aldi and might be a nice way for them to kind of hook you in. Okay guys, so these are some of the items that I picked up on my trip to Aldi today. Cantaloupes were on sale. I believe these were actually 99 cents and these were organic, which is insane, insane kind of pricing. Also to a bag of apples. These are actually locally grown nearby where I live, which is really great to find because sometimes at these discount stores, the produce may not necessarily be from nearby farmers, so that's really great. A head of cauliflower, I believe this was actually under $1.50, which is insane, because I have paid up to $3 per head, so that's really nice. I also picked up a package of lemons. This is another product of the USA. I also found this artisan lettuce, which is really cool. These kinds of lettuces, the radicchio and the arugula, these tend to be really, really expensive. I did want to caution you though, you know, when I looked at the bottom of a lot of these packages, you know, you have to be careful because there might be a lot of browning. This one was actually the best I could find. And, and yes, you could see even there, there's browning already. So um, this one we're actually gonna eat in the next two to three days. So that's not a huge deal to me because the leaves themselves look really good to me. But again, these kinds of lettuces just per head are very expensive. I thought this was a pretty neat find, vegetable chips. These are not like ground vegetables that they press into sticks or chips. Vegetables that are sliced and then made into chips. I also struck a great deal on yellow squash. These were actually 50 cents each. So all six of these squashes only cost me one dollar. Found this huge bag of green beans. We love, love green beans in our house. So they also had really, really large containers of asparagus as well, which is really great. I also was pleased to find some organic bananas. These are by the Del Monte brand, as you can see. And these were pretty green. These are probably the greenest ones that I saw there. I also picked up a jar of capers. These I use typically to sprinkle on top of fish or on top of salads. This is a product of Spain. 
Now I did notice that they had specially selected brands. So just like Kroger has the private selection brand, this is an Aldi brand, but it's more on the nicer end. So you know how Kroger has their own kinds of Kroger brands and then they have the private selection which are on the nicer end. That is what this represents for me. A container of breadcrumbs. This is fairly large. And again, if you look, you could see barcodes everywhere. So there, there, there. And these were under a dollar. So even cheaper than the Dollar Tree. Also picked up some corned beef hash for the hubby. This can be fairly expensive at Kroger as well. Sometimes $3 a can. I also picked up a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. Picked up a bag of Easy Peel raw shrimp. This is a bag of 16 ounce shrimp and it typically will carry about 41 to 60 shrimp per bag. I also was happy to find this Mexican cheese. I love this kind of cheese for enchilada type recipes. This also is an Aldi brand as well. Another Aldi brand, this is the crumbled feta cheese. I like to put this in my salads with dried cranberries and some sliced almonds. And then these items were a bit of a splurge. So one thing that is really, really great about Aldi is that they carry a lot of gluten-free items. A bag of pretzels. I haven't bought pretzels in years, but I thought we would try them out. They also had this in the stick form, a box of Coco Loco baked chewy bars. So just as something to have when you have that little sweet tooth and you don't want to eat anything that's too bad. So this is gluten-free, cholesterol-free, egg-free. This specifically, I can only find at their store. It's the Southern Grove Cocoa Almonds. And these, you guys, oh my gosh. When you just need a little bit of a treat, you just take like three or five of these, put these in a little pretty cup, and then you are good to go. These are so, so, so delicious. I also picked up some wasabi soy almonds. I've had these before in the past as well, and um, they are delicious. Not as good as these, but of course these aren't sweet. So they have that horseradish taste with the wasabi. So they're good, but you can't really eat a ton of them, and it's very hard to splurge on these. Excited to find was this fit and active Spanish quinoa brown rice blend. Now, to be honest with you, I have seen the Fit and Active brand being resold at our area Dollar Tree, and specifically those were for cereal items. I haven't seen something like this there, but I thought this would be really cool to try. Quinoa is not the cheapest item in the world, as you may know already. And again, this is an Aldi brand. Next thing I picked up was this Simply Nature Linguini, and this is actually organic linguini, and it was just a little bit above a dollar, which is a really great price for organic items. And the last thing I found was this bar of chocolate. This is a mint dark chocolate by Moser Roth, and that is, I believe, an Aldi brand as well. I had heard such great rumors about their chocolate section they have some really good dark and milk chocolate that they sell there. They also have a ton of other kinds of sweet items. They also sell a bunch of items that I would most definitely give as gifts. I mean, they just look so beautiful and so delicious. They also carry a lot of wine. One thing I noticed too that they carry are a whole array of spices. They don't have everything that I would expect to find like at a Trader Joe's or a Kroger but they do have these really large containers of spices and baking goods that you could get for under a dollar or maybe just a little bit above. They also have a ton of canned vegetables and canned fruits that are under a dollar or just above. And I did notice some fairly reasonable prices on some of their meat, so their chicken, their beef, their whole turkey. I had heard good things about their milk. I've heard that they are hormone free. And they do carry a bunch of household items. So laundry baskets, fitness kinds of things. So weights, lunch bags. They have cleaning items as well. Some kitchen tools, bowls, etc. 